Good morning, my dear students, and well, welcome back to the class on active and passive voice. I hope you are understanding the topic called active and passive voice. In the previous class, we have dealt with imperative sentences. We have dealt with the three important rules regarding the imperative sentences when you are converting an imperative sentences, imperative sentence from active into passive voice. So we move on to the same topic, the rules regarding active and passive voice. So what is next rule? Rule number four. Instead of by in the active voice, you remember that is one of the basic changes of active and passive voice. When you are converting an active into passive voice, we have to use the word called by to denote the agent. Instead of by, there are four words that have to be used or that can be used in the passive voice. At, with, to, in. So when you, when you are using these four words, you must know the circumstances or the meaning or the situations when you must be using all these four words. So that's rule number four. Instead of by, we have four other words like at, with, to, in. These are the words to be used in the passive voice. Let's see how and where it works. So first one is at. Where do we use it? And after expressions of alarming and surprising. So this is the place where you must, instead of the word called by, we can use the word called at. When the word called at indicates alarming or surprising. Alarming and surprising. For an example, his condition alarmed me. Alarmed means it frightened me. So when you are converting to pass for passwords, how does it happen? I was alarmed at his condition, not by his condition, at his condition. So this is how we are avoiding the word called by and we are using the word called at. So at is used or it is when it is denoting or it is used after the expressions of alarming and surprising. Example, his condition alarmed me. I was alarmed at his condition, not by his condition, but at his condition. Now we have to use the word called to. After expressions of known and obliged. To is used after expressions of known and obliged. For an example, I know him. That is in active voice when you are converting into passive voice. There we do not use the word called by. Instead of by, we are using the word called to. So how does it happen? He is known to me. To me, not by me. He is known to me. So to is used after expressions of known and obliged. Now moving on to the third one, with. With is used after expressions of pleased, satisfied, and impressed. The word called with can be used instead of by after expressions of pleased, satisfied, and impressed. Your honesty has pleased me. That is an active voice. We are converting into passive voice. I have been pleased with your honesty, not by your honesty. I have been pleased with your honesty. So that is how we use the word called with instead of by. Now we have to use the word called in. In is used after expressions of interested and consistent. In is used after expressions of interested and consistent instead of the word called by. For an example, this job interests me. That is an active voice when you are converting into passive voice. I am interested in this job. See, we have used the word called in instead of the word called by. So, this is a rule number four that is very important because and uh, as I have told you by is one of the basic four changes of uh, active and passive voice but instead of by there are four other words that can be used the words like at with to and in so remember where to use these four words 
where does it come after what type of expression do we use these four words instead of the word called in? by at with to and in i hope you have understood and this is the end of uh, imperative sentences and with that one we are winding up the topic called uh, active and passive voice i hope you have understood once the topic is over i will give some ex exercise for you so that you will you can understand whether you have understood the, the rules that i am teaching you so take care and study with my students